so he starts out, it's his last day of school, and since his school revolves around the, not the military, but the scientist group, uh, their last day is a report on the Civil War. And he's the lucky one that gets to do it this year. Since they do it like every single week, but, and so, he just basically recaps on what's been going on in the war, and he, and then it kind of shows you how smart he is because he takes a mental note that, you know, the Civil War did start on the day his father was born, thinking maybe his, somehow that has something to do with it, or, you know, just a funny coincidence, and he doesn't see what's so great about uh, the Guardian dude because, uh, you know, he just... So even though he uh, discovered uh, the pure s substance in a compound form, uh, it's what started the war to begin with. So why is he being praised for starting a war? So it's kind of funny that way. Um, and so then his uh, on his way home, he stumbles across something in his father's room that talks about the past and especially the court hearing and that's where he is horrified to learn that his father the one he loved killed everybody including his mother and his father said that it was a crazy person who did it and so before you can uh, before he could uh, ask his father anything about that when his father got home his father had him quickly pack and all that, and they left. And everything was, all the important documents were supposed to be in the safe box where Destiny found that one uh, criminal report, and it never quite made it back in there. And so, when the planet got destroyed by the military, they found the document not properly destroyed inside that burn box that was supposed to burn it all. And that document led the military people to this secret base by that was held by the scientists. But the military didn't go towards it right away because, you know, they wanted to give the scientists time to retreat there so they could get them all in one grasp. <coughs> so, when they get to this military base, this system is actually controlled by smugglers. That's why they've been able to keep their secrets, because he thought that they would align with smugglers to send smugglers with both sides, not just the one side. Anyway, so the project is a go, and the smugglers know that the year is going to be a nice surprise that day, but they don't want to say anything because they don't want to ruin their alliances with both sides. They're just going to kind of watch and loot what's left. And so both, so all three of them, Guardian, Destiny, and Prophet, they are actually part of this experiment. They decide to become part of it because it's a revolutionary idea, being able to manipulate magic at its source. And so the project happens, and then towards the completion of the project, that's when the military attacks, and they destroy the installation and all that. And in the process, a uh, prophet goes into his insane side again and starts massively slaughtering everyone and everything around him, trying to protect the research. So he ends up killing enemies and allies alike. Just mass destruction and uh, so Guardian, he sees this and is horrified and so he joins back up with the military and with his newfound abilities to manipulate magic and create fire and all that, Guardian 
And then we also realize is that he's also seeing things in the future. He's seeing three seconds to the future at any given time. So he's able to outmaneuver a uh, prophet and put prophet on conscious, but he's not able to kill prophet because prophet is so much more powerful than he is at using magic and he doesn't understand why. So he ends up retreating because even on conscious, he's able to protect himself from being destroyed and so then what happens to destiny is destiny is taken away by the smugglers and so then for the, like the next 10 years or so uh destiny's in a coma while guardian is with his followers learns the basic concepts of magic and learns how to control his ability of seeing the future three seconds in advance and he then learns that he can teach other people who have not been in the experiment how to use magic it just takes a lot more time because he has to open up the mind to the ability of magic and so he starts to create his own army of magic users and then he decides to retaliate against the prophet to try to put him down once and for all. Well, the prophet was also working on his own. The prophet, being able to see the future, past and present, is considered the master of all magic. There's not a single spell that he can't master. But he usually sticks with elemental magic. He doesn't stick with mind control magic because, you know, you have to understand anatomy for that. He doesn't have the time to understand any so my any of the mental stuff and healing of somebody else's issue. Because you know what is he be doing? He could just recreate his body with magic. There's no sense in rejuvenating it. But you know, recreating your body takes a lot of energy, and you have to be alive to recreate your body. You don't necessarily have to be fully functional to get healed. So. They had the ups and downs. Um, and so, with his ability, he knew that guarding was eventually going to come, so he created, so he started working on a super weapon. He was creating a planet out of pure magic. And that was the eventual creation of Earth. And Earth has powers beyond it. You know, well, it has the same genetic pop ability to manipulate magic as the average Joe that is not Guardian, that's not Prophet, and that's not Destiny, because they have, like, the ability to manipulate magic on a scale that is unmeasurable because they are uh, unique. But uh, the planet being massive size, even a tiny fireball is humongous in the spectrum of things. So, Guardian, seeing that he was clearly not going to be able to win, decides to ask if Prophet was willing to do a free-for-all tournament. A tournament in like a year where who the Prophet could not participate, neither could Guardian, because they knew that they were superior, but their troops see who is the better trainer and whoever accumulated the most amount of points in this tournament would be considered the champions and their side would get to rule and the other side would back off and admit defeat and uh, subject their loyalty 